Well, I'm here with Nate Dawson, the defending champ. That was a tough round. A uh, few mistakes, a few rollaways and sudden. But I'll tell you, I've never seen a young man have so much trouble and keep such a nice smile on his face. Like nobody I've ever seen. Before. Well, thanks, Billy. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, out in the field, I felt really good and I was just really being positive and came to the first tee and right as Andy was announcing my name, I just got this huge smile on my face and, uh, you know, I'm just so happy to be out here. You know, life uh, kind of throws a lot of curveballs at you and it's just really nice to be here doing what I love to do with the best fans in the world, the best course in the world. You know, I got the best friends in the world and it's, there's nothing to be upset about. I'm here to put on a show for the fans and, and hopefully I did that and, and uh, I think a lot of them appreciate the, the positive attitude. Well, now, we know you've been, uh, it's been a struggle because you've been playing basketball, you've got a team that you coach, you're working a 40 hour job, you haven't really been able to be out on and I know we were talking a little bit, and I made mention they had an announcement we wanted to make. Tell everybody what I'm talking about, please. Yeah, I mean, that, uh, I guess there's been a lot of whirlwind about it, but, uh, you know, I basically uh, have been thinking about, you know, uh, going on a little bit more of an extended tour next season. Uh, nothing set in stone yet, but uh, I just, I really kind of don't really like to rush in and rush out of tournaments, and I like to be around. And well, you miss the love when you yeah, do that. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, you kind of miss meeting people, and, and uh, I, I really, I'm, you know, I'm 24 years old. I got a long time in life to go, and I, I'd really like to get out and, and enjoy the road, and uh, really try to be positive in the sport, be a promoter. Be just a positive light in the sport and, and try to help the game move forward and play some more tournaments as well. So that's the big announcement. I think a lot of you people out there in the country will be seeing a lot more of me. Uh, uh, yeah, it and should I'm be fun. I'm guessing your game's going to get just a little better uh, with you know being out there on the road and not having all these other distractions pulling at you. Yeah, certainly. I mean, being on the road is uh, you know, and, and I have you know Valerie and Avery, uh, you know. Uh, you know, two of my best friends, and we're so positive together, and we, we just have a fantastic time. And I think us three together are going to help pull the game towards a, a new direction, a better positive direction. Not that the game's anywhere wrong now, but uh, we really want to do our part and, and, and be proactive in, in helping the game grow. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, that's Nate Doss, your defending champion, a classy human being. Kept a smile on his face with a tough round, Nate. It was enjoyed to watch you play. Thank you, Billy. Well, this is Billy Crump. I am here with David Felberg. It was good fun. I know you didn't win, Dave. I know this was a tough interview, but man, that was a great battle. I mean, they, they caught you past you. You came right back. You went birdie, you was birdie. You did what you thought you had to do. Tell me where uh, you felt like you went wrong. I uh, honestly got to say, I'm not you know, making excuses, but you need teaching and traveling. You so not, don't have that hour or two hours a week practice. Buddy. And uh, when the high pressure comes, that's when you need that practice. I missed a 14 footer on the second one. I missed a punt from the beach on the beach. And it's kind of embarrassing. I don't want to take anything away from the way they played. They played great. They made a lot of nice shots. Um, he's a great player. And uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot of good battles with him. Well, now I watched out there, and man, you uh, you tried to unravel coming off the eight. I mean, you know, you hit a tree, you got a bad kick, and you didn't unravel. You really bounced back. You went birdie, and then on the next hole, your girl was standing on the tee pad. You guys were cheering, did the double assist, and that was a great eagle. That was a super buff. Man, tell me what you was thinking about. I mean, was the money entering your brain at that point? Or I was just thinking, man, I gotta get in the bar. And I'm like, I gotta look here. And uh, what she said to me is, you missed everything high today. Just try to make it in the middle. And it was high, right in the heart. You know? So basically, uh, just felt good coming out of the hand and uh, out there thinking a lot about uh, life and things, how things are going and changing the sport. These young kids coming up and us guys trying to battle. I don't know how Kenny did it for years against us, but uh, thinking about ski out there, as you can see. And ski. I understand. Now we all feel that way. Um, I heard you when you walked off the 17. That was a four thousand dollar shot, you said, man, and that is the toughest shot to make when you're thinking about that. And then you come to 18, you had a roll out OB. What about that putt? I mean, that was another big money putt, man. I mean, did you re realize that and think about these things before it happened? I did realize the putt when I scored the four thousand extra, and I sat there and I looked at it and I saw it stop for a second. I didn't believe it for a second. I said, "Do you believe yet? Do you believe?" I go, yes, I believe. Nice. That's all I took is belief. I didn't believe that. I had these doubts that something bad was going to happen. some shots. I did. But uh, I'll be there again. I'll make my fight. Don't worry about that.
Well, this is your uh, 2005 champ and very close to the 2009 champ second place, Dave. Congratulations on a great tournament. Thanks, Billy, and well, thanks for watching. Sorry to bring him the trophy. We give the props to the cutie. Play well. Well, I'm sitting here. I can feel the vibes coming off of me. This is your first major, Nico. How's it feel, buddy? It feels yeah. great. I'm very honored. I keep saying that, but it's just an overwhelming feeling. Uh, very surreal, and I'm just... I seen it you went to great. your knees it there. Just, it feels awesome. Uh, when you, after the last putt, you went to your knees. That's a lot of emotion. You really had awesome. to contain it because you knew Dave was right there. Yeah. And one mistake could have slipped up yep. there. Yeah. I tried to just stay in bounds, and uh, I keep saying the same stuff over, but it's just been a lot of hard work and dedication for me all year leading up to this tournament. Um, I felt like I came here prepared to win. I always want to win every tournament I go to, and uh, these ropes are set up to just eat people alive, so I made sure I, I tried my best to stay in bounds, and uh, when there was an opportunity to make a putt, I, I try as hard as I can. Oh, you every, made plenty every, of great Every putts, single so. round I play, I just I put my heart and soul into it, and I'm just uh, I'm very honored to be where I'm at in my life right now. It just it feels awesome. Well, it feels great. You got that great smile rolling right yeah, now. Uh, you're going to have that trophy. You're going to have a big fat check as well. Now on 18, after Dave went OB, you threw a mid-range up there. You hadn't really done that. You've been no, throwing I mean, that roller. I've been throwing the roller to get weight on the fairway. But I just felt like at worst, if I throw mid-range, I'm going to take a four. And that's what it took me in the tournament, looking at the scoreboard. And uh, just yeah, stay safe, good. play steady. Try to win the well, you won the tournament. You did play safe. You did stay steady. I just want to thank my sponsors for, for helping me out all year. I got a, my uncle Dave McCormick, Gateway Disc Sports. He makes sure I'm signed up for every tournament. Uh, Dynamic Disc, he's sending me my gear and just uh, keeping me rolling with good discs all the time. Uh, Fighting Sportswear, they're hooking me up. Um, <clears throat> My new sponsor, Utopia Disc Golf. He's been very nice and generous to me. Um, I'm hoping to eventually get sponsored by Keen Shoes right here. I'm looking for some sponsors, so if anyone's out there and wants to help me, I'd love to be a part of it all. Uh, that's your 2009 USDGC champ. Got his first major. There's more to come. Nico LaCastro, baby. Thank you. Come here. I want to hug.